actual evening last night to say goodnight. I was sort of exhausted. We didn't even get to watch True Blood because the TV didn't have a plug-in for, you know, the red, yellow, red, red, yellow, white corns. Yeah. So we couldn't even hook the DVD player up. Trace Adkins. Woo! Um, so, Sarah wants to tell you guys a story too, but I want to apologize for that. This is our opening today. It's 12.18. We checked out about, what, maybe like 30 minutes ago? Yeah. So we've only got 70 miles left until we hit Astoria. It was only 90 miles away to start with. So. Okay. So, Cynthia told you a little bit last night about the whole donut experience. What she failed to mention was the creepy stalker guy who claimed to be a comedian, but I just think he was a drunkard. Now, I didn't realize when he walked up to us, he was talking to Cynthia, and we have new names. I am Rainbow, and she's... No, you're Sunshine. I'm, I'm Sunshine, Rainbow. and she's Rainbow, because we refuse to give him our real names, and he was getting, I, I don't know. He was getting a little too friendly, and I was already in a bad mood, and so his options were either guess at my name or give me a nickname, or die for me stabbing him in the kidney with my car keys, because I was just not in the mood to deal with him. Yeah, and she pretty Okay, so this is, I think, the uh, tenth time we've stopped in about... Half an hour. I, I don't even think half an hour. I think maybe 20 minutes, 10. <laughs> um, Cynthia keeps finding awesome pictures to take of old dilapidated houses covered in moss, which I'm sure you will all see on her DeviantArt account if she gives you access to that. Um, but right now we are here. Quite a wildlife refuge. And it's pretty. They promised us deer and elk. We see no deer or elk. And I really want to take a picture of a deer or an elk. Something with four legs that I don't see every day. I promise we'll see some on the coast. Okay. But Problem solved. this wildlife preserve kind of blows. It's not preserving very much now, is it? No, all we got is an open field. Birds, yeah, up in the trees. You can hear them. But yeah. So we've made it like two, no, I'll give you, we've made it like seven miles since the last line I saw in about 20 minutes. Yeah. Which if you know Cynthia, that's, that's pretty slow. It is pretty slow. I'm also, I don't remember what I was saying. Okay, well what she was saying and forgot is that this is a, what this place looks like, I'm pretty sure. She had her arms extended and then the memory card ended, so. It says elk viewpoint, but I don't see elk. More pretty trees. Yeah, this is the entire road since we left Portland. Literally, it's just, it's been like this. We've been up and down the mountains. We hit the summit at 1,642 feet. And we've just been driving like this ever since on West 26 Interstate, I think. Yeah. Do you see elk out there? No. Why is that? Because signs lie. It's true. You can't touch signs. You can't touch this. No, 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 no. That's gonna be like a form of Did you press record? No. I thought you handed it to me before. I did. I must have stopped at some point. I must have hit the button. This is the view from our room in Astoria. There's the big bridge. It's beautiful. Cynthia has a lot of pictures again. And down there's a tram that goes by right there. Anyways, there's Cynthia. The well, we get to see the tram. Yeah, we get to ride the tram. This oh, is our. I thought you said tram. It's gonna be loud, but awesome. This is our little fireplace, which is good because it's raining hard right now. So we'll probably use that. Free internet. Uh, these are our pretty beds that Cynthia was petting earlier, and I actually just wanted to get this video before we completely demolished everything. We got a lot of stuff we're putting up here. And then our awesome TV where we will be watching True Blood tonight. Because it's got a DVD player. Yes, it does. But you can't see it, but it's there. It's right there. Sexy yeah, DVD. Uh, and then she was in love with this little kitchen nook. And this bathroom, that is a lot nicer than the last one we were in. But, yes, it, it will probably be dead in about... Um, I'd give us about 10 minutes before this is just completely destroyed. Uh, actually, she's already on it, so it's probably going to be maybe three. Anyways, then we're going to go out and eat and maybe go down to Seaside for a little while. But, yeah. Oh, and do more makeup.
Yes. 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 And Sarah's really gotten the hang of this. Uh, I got it down. Taking over my camera thing. I got my sidekick, and I'm gonna have to give her up, and it sucks. It sucks. Guess she'll just have to stay here, or like her grandparents' vaughn, I'll have to go there. So this freighter is just passing by. I'll zoom out a little. It's um about to go under the bridge and then do go dark dock over there somewhere. But it's pretty cool. And Cynthia wanted me to record it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. IHC pool. Pretty awesome. But yeah, it's pretty. There you go. My name is Dakamra. Um, I'm your. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. This is I'm another ship this. that's just coming in. Okay. Take two. Bam. We're, this is another ship that's just coming in. We're probably going to see about 20 more before we go to bed. And I doubt the light will still be good. But see, it goes right there under the bridge and over. This is a really nice hotel if you do enjoy watching things like this. It's actually a pretty nice hotel anyways. I was reading a sign in the bathroom that says they'll give you free stuff if you forgot it. Small stuff like razors and toothpaste and stuff. I'm always down for free. I'm going to call down to the friend desk and be like, I forgot my toothbrush, my razor, and my shaving cream. Help me out. And then they're going to think I'm the biggest klutz in the world for going on a 10 day trip without any... I didn't bring a razor. I don't use shaving cream. I have two toothbrushes though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we went to a comic book store. Yes, we did go to a comic book <laughs> store and you see the pretty eyes, the pretty eyes see? Yeah. That's what we did today. Besides driving and stopping. And we are actually <laughs> about to start the True Blood Marathon with the True Blood. There's it's going to be awesome. There's a deer. What? <laughs> Not here. I'm being funny. True Blood Marathon. <laughs> Step on it. Okay, I'm working on it. We went to a comic book store. It was amazing. I bought um, something called Fables. It's got the first couple of issues in it. The artwork just looks beautiful, and I can't wait to read it. I was told it was really good. Bought Repo Genetic Opera and a pack of Tim Burton playing cards, which look adorable. And the ship is coming in, and I'm going to take a picture of Global Fate. Fate? Is that an oil tanker? Because that would be totally ironic. No, it's not an oil tanker. I don't know what an oil tanker looks like. That's not an oil tanker. Obviously. Geez, Sarah, I heard you the first time. Anyway, I shall see you guys soon. Peace. Cha-ching. Should be hilarious. Oh my god. Two minutes does not a video make. Hey.